And here we have the... This Super is the cool. uh, Robomaster S1. This is DJI's first educational robot. And what's cool about this is that this was inspired by the Robomaster competition. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's actually this rather large worldwide competition that's uh, where young engineers and students at universities compete in these competitions uh, by building their own robots uh, and then kind of battling, them, uh, battling each other. And eventually, at the end of it, in August, we have a very large event in Shenzhen, China, where those finalists come together for two weeks and they have this uh, large-scale like robotics competition uh, called the RoboMaster competition. So, building inspiration from the robots that they make during these competitions, this is what uh, this is where the S1 comes in. So the S1 is an educational um, tool for students or young people or anyone that's interested in just getting involved in engineering, coding, or, or robotics in general. So let's put it down. We'll actually see what it, what it can do. So it's connected with your phone? Yeah. Um, it's also good to know, when you first purchase this, it comes completely unassembled, 42 pieces. It's your, uh, up to you to assemble it um, and learn about the process of building uh, a robot. Did you assemble one? What, what's up? Did you assemble one? Yes. How long time did it take you? Uh, three hours. Three hours? Yeah. Because you're really good at assembling, right? Can no, it I take mean, longer? It, it can take between two and four hours. It can take between two and four hours. Uh, Alright, so let's jump in. Uh, so when you have this screen, this is the Rebel Master, you have a solo mode, you have a battle mode, and you have a battle mode, right? Solo mode is if you want to drive around and uh, do target practice or scan things or just kind of you know, get a feel for the way it operates. Battle mode is if you want to uh, compete with other S1 robots. So when you use battle mode, what you do uh, right now is connected from my Wi-Fi on my phone to the wi or the Wi-Fi connection signal from my phone to the Wi-Fi signal on the S1. If you're going to use battle mode, though, you need to all connect to one router, and it's almost like an online gaming system right. um, where you can jump in. And... Nice. All right. So let's do. Let's do. We'll check out what battle mode looks like. So right now you have race and you have free for all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into free for all. So normally you would have like all the other players listed out here, um, and then you can go into here and you can change uh, if you want to use the infrared beam, you want to do yellow beam, timing, health point, speed, mystery bonus. Uh, so it's really taking advantage of all the really cool aspects of this robot. Um, so let's jump in and I'll, I'll explain um, the hardware that's around the S1, and then also we'll go into some of the really cool technical. That are um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna start this. Uh, we're gonna do some fun. So Let me see the real-time camera. Yep. Yep. So this is a battle mode. Um, so when you, look, when you look at the robot, yeah. um, it has the, these wheels. These are called mechanum, this is called the mechanum chassis, and essentially allows allows it to shift left, right, left, right. So it has omnidirectional movements thanks to these mechanum wheels. Um, it's a very very robust uh, uh, robot. Um, so it's durable. It's built to last. Um, it has a four wheel drive, and then sitting on top of this main frame. You have this uh, direct-driven gimbal, and what direct-driven gimbal means is, as I turn it, it's going to turn with it. You see what I mean? Nice. All right. In total, there are 31 sensors on the S1, but six of them are on its intelligent armor. Like, Can you go around like, a little bit? So this is an intelligent sensor here, any, any of the lights. Um, so this is actually a pressure sensor. So if you're in battle mode and using uh, the gel beads, um, this will actually detect the, um, the, the impact. While this is actually a light meter. Um, and what that does is it picks up this infrared uh, beam, which is used in battle mode. Yeah. So sitting on top of this gimbal, there is, um, this is the central processing unit. Um, you see a little FPV camera right here that gives us the live feed. And then you have this, this blaster, and that shoots uh, the infrared beams like this. But it also shoots um, soft gel beads. Uh, and um, it up. the soft gel beads are, you have to soak them in water, so they're, they're very soft, they don't hurt. Um, and what happens is when they hit something, they kind of just dissipate. Um, so they're not, they're not dangerous, and they're biodegradable, and they're non-toxic. Um, so honestly, it's a, it's a lot of fun using, using, uh, using the Can you go around a little bit? Uh, 
It's quite impressive. Uh, DJ has he's got some skills in doing these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And this is the first one. How, does he, how much it cost? Um, depends on what region you're looking. Uh, in Europe, it's not available just yet. Uh, by the end of the year, it will be available. I don't have a pricing, but I can give you uh, the United States pricing is uh, 500 US dollars. Um, uh, yes, yes. That's not too expensive for what you get. No, it's it's really packed with like, a tremendous amount of time. And we've only gone into a little bit of it. There's so much more that's it's built into this. Quality. I've never seen such quality in a, kind of this kind of thing. And then you even have... so. That camera provides a lot of the uh, FPV feed to your phone and where it's going. But what it also does is it supports a host of different um, AI functions and machine vision technology. So for instance, let's open this up. Go, this is called uh, uh, follow me. So essentially you can choose a person. Okay, you can follow me? Yep. Okay. I'll go a little bit further away from you. Yeah, why don't we... Uh, yeah. Hey, I'm here. Hello, hey. Cool. Nice. This is that nice. <laughs> that you did. That's cool. I, I can imagine that uh, it's not just fun. It's very educational, potentially. Yeah. You can uh, you can uh, educate. You can train a whole bunch of tank builders. Oh, uh, that's Small not the goal. Tank. I'm joking. But uh, uh, I mean. So, robots, robot designs and stuff is the future of education also. Yeah, so let, let's actually look at um, the, the core foundation of the product, which is actually learning how to code as well. Yeah. Um, so you have this app and you have Solo, you have Battle, you have Lab, right? Yeah. So once you go into Lab, this is where it gets really interesting. And this is really shows um, um, the benefits of something like this. So you have Road to Mastery, and Road to Mastery is uh, project-based courses. Um, and what happens is it lets you ju uh, choose um, uh, beginner guide and it progressively gets more and more difficult um, through these projects but beginner guide essentially walks you through uh, how to code with scratch uh, and scratch is being taught in all sorts of schools nowadays um, it's the so open standard for learning to code yeah absolutely so we have this this project based course in, in here and what it's doing is really getting um, people interested in this technology familiar with scratch um, we also have Robo Academy and Robo Academy is video courses but it's also a programming guide which kind of outlines in detail what all these blocks and codes mean and then uh, you take all that knowledge you got from Road to Mastery and Robo Academy and you jump into DIY programming and DIY programming essentially uh, lets you uh, code uh, something unique um, so this has a host of different features. You can take advantage of the gimbal, the lights, the chassis, the, the motors, the wheels. Everything can be customized. And if you go into here, you can see that the main components of the system, so gimbal, the blaster, the chassis, and the lights, um, armor, everything can be uh, manipulated. So if we go into armor, you can just drag and drop a specific thing you want. You can run the code and you can see in real time what it means. And what, what's really also really cool is that up here you have these two different or three different buttons. That's the play button, so you can see what the, the scratch means. Um, but right in the middle is, oh, actually, let's go to something a little bit more interesting. Let's go to uh, Twister. What's cool about this is that, all right, so here's like a fully written uh, uh, code. Once you hit this button, it lets you see what it's like in Python, Whoa. which is a much more advanced uh, programming tool. And the but kids can edit that? Yep, absolutely. They can customize, and, and, and you get can into also, them. You can also write in Scratch and drop it into the RoboMaster app. Oh. So, like it, I'm just so impressed with this. I, I'm sure there's tons of fans already, right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And then, so here, here's another really cool thing. Um, 
So when you when it ships, you get these vision mark vision markers, and essentially it can read these, and you can program it to do different things, or you can use it if you're going to race each other. You know, scan one, two, three, four, five, do a loop, scan one, two, three, four, five. But we can actually show you. It's a quick little one, but we've trained it to interact with. We've programmed it rather to interact with a few different vision markers. Um, so, for instance, doesn't like that one. It likes that one. So, I mean, you could do almost anything with uh, in terms of the programming uh, and taking yes. advantage of all the different customizable components of of the S1. So the school should basically get one for every every student, and then they should be doing battles and all kinds of competitions weekly. Yeah, and uh, they could be slightly bigger version of this and do delivery and this is in the, how far are we from all these? There's, there's so much potential with this. Very quickly, a lot of things can happen. It's a it's a very unique product. Uh, it has a lot of potential, but the core foundation is um, teaching people about robotics engineering and coding uh, in an entertaining way that's going to retain uh, in their mind. Is shipping now in, in some countries or not? Uh, in the United States, in Japan, and uh, mainland China, yes. So there has to be a problem with, like, is it out of stock or can people just buy and get it? I mean, uh, is there uh, enough for everybody? Because I'm thinking this could oh, be this could be like a, a, a huge thing for Christmas. Yeah, absolutely, and the price is point it is very good. Is it going to be enough good. for everybody? I, I, I hope so. I hope so. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting product, and um, we're, we're seeing a lot of people interested in it. And, and all sorts of demographics, from, from uh, young engineers to people that are just uh, are enthusiastic about technology, uh, even up to people that are just trying to learn how to code or need something, a uh, project that's fun and interactive.